Hi, I'm Cameron Minto. I'm the Clear Sky Engineer here in APAC for Catapult Sports. We're out here at ANZ Stadium today ahead of Game 3 for State of Origin where we've got our Clear Sky LPS system installed. Uh, we'll be providing data for both Queensland and New South Wales today during their captain's run ahead of tomorrow's decider. It allows us to provide the data to both Queensland and New South Wales to manage their player loads, but also provides us the opportunity to finalise our system ahead of tomorrow and satisfy the needs of our broadcast partners that they're going to be happy with the data we're sending them. Hi, I'm Nicole Pensko, Head of Australia New Zealand Partnerships. Uh, Catapult is pleased to be partnering with the NRL, Channel 9 and Telstra to bring live GPS tracking data to State of Origin. It's exciting that we're able to take a, a look behind the scenes to see the working operations of live data capture. Uh, and as you can see, the Channel 9 team work really hard in creating interesting content um, to bring that uh, fan engagement piece alive. The graphics are populated with different metrics, including speed, distance, sprint efforts and intensity. Channel 9 then broadcasts this data as the Telstra tracker during the telecast, which is what visually you'll see. Roll Alpha. Thanks. Q Manual. Lose Manual. Take three. It's fantastic, we've just signed a long-term agreement with the NRL covering the national teams, the men's and women's, both men's and women's NRL teams uh, and all of the officials as well. So as part of this deal, uh, all of the Origin players will also be wearing um, GPS tracking devices. Just recently we were able to cover the Women's State of Origin match and provide live GPS tracking via the Telstra tracker with Channel 9 again. And that's actually the first time that that's happened anywhere for a women's sport globally. So really pleased to be partnering with the NRL on, on that opportunity. So the four main metrics that we're pushing for origin are distance, metres per minute, which we use to infer intensity, the number of sprints and also max velocity. We've got the ability to push a whole lot more data live, but they're the four key metrics that the broadcaster does want to see, which is increasing every year that we do this project. So the fastest we've seen this year was at Car, hit 35.7 k's per hour in game one. Uh, the fastest he's ever hit that we've recorded is actually 37.9, which is really quick, it's getting up there. A lot of work goes into the whole project, not only at the game, but in behind the scenes as well. So from software, being able to develop the APIs and everything that we use to push the data to the graphics providers, operations, firmware and engineering, being able to make the whole system and clear sky actually work. Account managers with their relationships with the teams, the NRL, um, the client and essentially in Telstra and Channel 9, commercial guys as well, everybody really pulls together and makes these projects work. So this is the third year now that we've actually used this technology to track the players in State of Origin. It's only really ever been used in broadcast for around that sort of time. So where this technology goes in the future in the next five, 10, you know, 15 years is really exciting and, and something as a company that we're really excited to see.